Welcome back. Well, we are still tuned into the health matters on the medicine box. We're discussing non-communicable diseases with Dr. Thakkar here. Uh, Dr. Thakkar, now we have a couple of rapid fire questions for you. One, the first one, what is the linkage of non-communicable diseases, say something like diabetes, hypertension, etc., to cancer? They can nurture cancer. Badly treated sugars can nurture something which is growing in your body and so on and so forth. We've also ha had recent examples of younger people getting cancer. The biggest example would be Kate Middleton as well. Why is that taking place? So there is a genetic twist to it unequivocally. But chemical toxins which you have in processed foods, environmental factors which you inhale, mm. faulty lifestyles, they all can nurture the cancer towards propagation. Mm. I'm not saying that it's your bad lifestyle or adverse social and environmental factors that gave you the cancer. But if you had the cancer, it got nurtured or propelled because of these things. So it's not to do with uh, the fact that there are more younger people probably just getting diagnosed earlier? Well, they are getting diagnosed because of better facilities, mm. but poor and bad eating habits, late pregnancies for cervical and breast cancer, excessive use of drugs, whether to lose weight, whether to improve potency, or whether to whip your hormone-based organs in the body, that also works adversely. Okay. You have to know when to draw a line and call it a day. What are the risk factors and signs of a stroke? So, if you start feeling tingling, numbness, loss of power, and you start finding that you can't lift your hand even though you want to, that's the sign. Mm -hmm. Look at it quickly, get into the golden hour of treatment. Just last week we reversed. A young man who came to our OPD, within three hours we gave him the injection. He went home on third day. Okay, so what should one do in the event of a stroke? In the event of a stroke, don't waste time going to a small center, a dispensary, a family doctor, a small clinic. Go to the hospital. You need an MRI, and if the MRI confirms it, you need a blood dissolving, clot dissolving injection, which works miracles. How does someone at home who doesn't know the sign of a stroke assess whether it's a stroke? So when in doubt, where he thinks it is a lakwa, or an ardhangi, or something which is happening, take him to the hospital. Mm -hmm. What will happen? It will be a false alarm. Mm -hmm. But for every 10 false alarm, there is one true alarm, and that is the alarm of alarm. Is walking alone sufficient in terms of an exercise to combat NCDs? So walking is a good exercise to maintain your cardiopulmonary status, to improve circulation, but it doesn't do much to giving you muscle mass, to giving you muscle tone, to improve other muscle conditions. But if you can't do anything, walking suffices. Get off two bus stops early, get off two stations early. And if you can't do anything else, ask your wife to gift you a dog. You can go for a walk with him in the morning. Okay, and that'll probably help in terms of mental health as well. But Dr. Tucker, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for joining in and speaking with CNBC TV. Thank you for having me. Thank you.